ஹலோ ஆல் வெல்கம் பேக் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் ஆல் அபவுட் வேல் எஸ்ஐ இன் அவர் இன் டுடே செஷன் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வேப்பிங் பர்ஸ்ட் இன் டீட்டெயில் நவ் இன் அவர் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் இன்க்ரிமெண்டல் பர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் அலைன்ட் அட்ரஸ் அண்ட் அன் அலைன்ட் அட்ரஸ் நவ் இன் திஸ் பர்டிகுலர் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வேப்பிங் பர்ஸ்ட் இன் கிளியர் டீட்டெயில் நவ் கம்மிங் டு அவர் வேப்பிங் பர்ஸ்ட் ஹியர் இன் த கேஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் வேப்பிங் பர்ஸ்ட் வி நீட் டு first of all have a clear idea about one important thing that is nothing but our address boundary why we need to understand this address boundary because in the case of your incremental burst we are going to simply increment our address and we are not going to wrap back to the initial address but here in the case of your wrapping burst you need to wrap back to the initial address after re- reaching your address boundary now first of all this address boundary is calculated by size into length <coughs> size into length of the burst for example if we want to perform a right burst operation where your aw length is equal to let us see the aw length let's take our aw length as uh, 4 bytes a uh, 4 bit that is nothing but 0011 our aw length is equal to 0011 that is 4 bits of data i am going to send next i am going to have my size aw size that is size of each packet let's say it has a uh, 4 byte so 4 byte is nothing but 00 zero one zero zero one zero is nothing but four byte so the size of each packet is nothing but four byte now what is your address boundary address boundary is nothing but four into four that is 16 byte so the address boundary which we have got for this example is nothing but 16 byte let's take our aligned address <clears throat> let's say if i want to send four packets of data this is p1 p2 p3 and p4 i want to send four packets of data and the starting address which i am going to consider is an aligned address that means i am going to consider the first address as my next address will be equal to 4 and 8 and c now before going to understand how you are going to calculate the wrapping burst and what is wrapping boundary and what is wrap back to the initial address we need to understand one small little concept here we can see our the size is nothing but 4 byte now that means we need to write down the addresses which corresponds to 4 byte address values so the very starting address let's take it as 0 which is an aligned address and followed by 4 because the size is nothing but 4 byte plus 4 and followed by 8 and c and you can see here for every address we are going to send 4 byte of data for every address we are going to send 4 byte of data like this right now what is the total corresponding addresses which we if we calculate here total we are going to send 4 times 4 is total we are sending 16 byte of data okay now this 0c corresponds to 16th byte so here we were completing one 16 byte boundary here we are completing one 16 byte boundary because you can see here for the first address we are sending 4 byte of data and for the second address we are sending another 4 byte data so on at c we will complete the last data last byte that is nothing but total we are going to complete at this particular address we are going to complete 16 bytes of data so that's why this address will be considered as 16 byte boundary now let's take one more addresses let's say after c we are going to get c plus 4 is nothing but 10 14 i'm representing the addresses in hexadecimal format 18 and 1c so for 10 we are going to send 14 byte of data 4 byte of data 4 byte of data and 4 byte data now after reaching here this is nothing but another 16th byte of data we are going to send so after reaching this 1c we are going to send total 16 bytes of data so that's why this 1c is considered as another 16 byte address boundary so like this we will have the address ranges starting from 20 this is one 16 byte address ranges and from 30 to 3c this is one 16 byte address ranges and for this range 
2c is your 16 byte address boundary 3c is your 16 byte address boundary and coming to 402 4c this is 116 byte address boundary 4c is 116 byte address boundary and 50 so on we are going up to 5c okay so this is how we are going to calculate our address boundaries now let's say if your starting address is equal to 10 if this is your starting address let's say it as a1 now what will be your next address it will be equal to 14 and this will be your address a2 and what will be next address it is 18 this is address a3 for the packet p3 and what will be your next address that is nothing but 1c okay this is for address a4 for the packet fourth packet and since it is a and since it is a um, aw length is equal to double zero double one that is four packets you are going to send so that's why up to here the transaction will be completed let's say if my starting address is equal to one four let's say if my starting address is equal to one four now what will be your next address it will be equal to one eight <coughs> next next your address will be equal to one c you have reached your address boundary now in the case of your wrapping burst you are not going to increment your address further because in the case of your wrapping burst if you have reached your address boundary you need to wrap back to the initial address in that particular address range so the initial address or the starting address in that particular address range is 10 so you are going to 10 so this is how your wrapping burst is going to work okay let's take one more example let's say if our starting address let me erase this let's say if my starting address is 28 let's say if my starting address is 28 somewhere here 28 will be present right now what will be your next address it will be equal to the next address will be equal to 2c and what will be your next address it will not be equal to 30 because we are discussing about wrapping burst right so you are going to wrap back to the initial address in that particular range that is nothing but 20 so here i am going to write down the next address as 20 and followed by 24 so this is how we are going to calculate our wrapping burst addresses in the case of incremental burst no issue you just go on incrementing your addresses depending upon the size but in the case of your wrapping burst if you have reached a particular address boundary of a range then you need to wrap back to the initial address of that particular range i am talking about aligned address especially whenever my size is equal to 4 byte in the case of your size is equal to 4 byte and the case of wrapping burst and 4 bit this is the address boundary we have calculated for each and every scenario you need to calculate your address boundary by considering your size and the length for example let's take one more scenario for this scenario we have got we have got 16 byte address boundary let's take one more scenario let's take your read burst and your aw length is equal to double zero double one only that is four beats of data four packets you are going to read and coming to your size this is ar length and coming to your size ar size it is nothing but 0 1 1 so after 0 1 1 you can refer to the table that is nothing but 8 bytes of data so the size of each packet is nothing but 8 bytes okay now here if we want to calculate our address boundary address boundary is nothing but size into length that is 8 4 8 times 4 is 32 so your address boundary is nothing but 32 bytes first of all before going to calculate your addresses you need to calculate your address boundary so let us try to calculate that so i'm talking about aligned addresses so my starting address is nothing but zero and next address will be equal to my next address will be equal to eight since my size is nothing but eight right so here plus eight next is eight plus eight that is nothing but 16 16 is nothing but one zero 8 plus 8 that is nothing but 16 that is 10 and plus 8 is 18 and if you can see here for this address we are totally we are sending 4 byte of data and for the second address we are going to send 4 byte of data and for the third address the corresponding data which we are going to read sorry it is a read operation right so we are going to read 4 byte and for the fourth fourth address we are going to read 4 byte of data so total the data read when i have reached my the last address that is nothing but 32 byte data four four times and next 
address is nothing but so let's take my initial address as zero okay next my address will be equal to because plus eight we are going to take because my size is equal to eight byte and uh, next i am going to take plus eight it is nothing but one zero which is nothing but 16 so i'm going to add plus eight and i'm going to add one eight okay plus eight so i'm going to increment my addresses like this now for the first address i'm going to send total eight bytes of data and for the second address i also am going to send eight bytes of data and third is eight bytes of data and fourth is eight bytes of data so if so until and so if I, so until i have reached my last address so i'm going to send total sorry i'm going to receive total 32 bytes of data i'm going to receive total 32 bytes of data okay so this is so this address is nothing but my 32 byte address boundary because because as soon as i have reached this particular last address i have total received 32 bytes of data so this will be considered as your 32 byte address boundary now the addresses next addresses that is nothing but my 20 22 28 and uh, 30 and 38 this will be considered as another set of address ranges and this 38 will be considered my 32 byte address boundary this will be considered as my 32 byte address boundary okay so like this i am going to calculate my address boundary <clears throat> now let's say if my starting address that is my base address is equal to 8 now what will be my next address it will be equal to 10 and next address will be equal to 18 and after reaching this particular address boundary i need to wrap back to the starting address of this address range that is nothing but 00 so i'm going to 00 so this is the case of my wrapping burst let's say if my starting address is equal to 38 then what should be my next address it is not uh, it is not 40 okay so you need to wrap back to the initial address of this particular address range that is nothing but 20 so i'm coming back to 20 followed by 30 and 38 so this is how i'm going to calculate my addresses in the case of my wrapping burst now now let's take one more example to understand your wrapping burst let's say again i'm going to perform a write burst operation where my ar length let's change my ar length to 0, 01 double 0 that is nothing but i think it's 5 bits of data yeah it is 5 bits of data that is 5 packets we are going to write 5 bits and my ar sorry this is aw length because it is a write operation right and my aw size is nothing but let's say zero double one okay so that is nothing but eight bytes only so total my address boundary is nothing but eight times five is 40 bytes so this is my address boundary which i have got now so here first of all i need to calculate my address ranges so let's say my starting address is equal to zero <clears throat> my next address will be equal to eight next it will be equal to one zero and one eight so until i have reached this address i have completed total 32 bytes of data so here eight 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 and here eight so total i have completed 32 bytes of data but my address boundary is nothing but 40 bytes right so i i need one more address that is nothing but two zero okay so here this is one more eight so eight times five is nothing but 40 so this is my 40 byte address boundary this is my 40 byte address boundary and this 20 will be considered as your 40 byte address boundary now the next set of addresses that is from 2 uh, 8 and uh, 2 8 3 0 and 3 8 4 0 <coughs> and 4 8 this will be considered as your next 40 byte address ranges and this is your 48 is nothing but your 40 byte address boundary next from 50 60 this will be considered as your another address range and 60 is nothing but your 40 byte address boundary now let's say if your starting address is equal to 38 let's say if your starting address is equal to 38 then what will be your next address it will be equal to 40 
and next your address will be equal to 48 and next address it is not 50 you will be wrapped back to 28 because you have reached your address boundary so next address will be equal to 28 four addresses has been completed and next address will be equal to 30 so this is how you are going to calculate your addresses in the case of your address uh, wrapping burst so you can consider multiple scenarios and you can try to calculate your different address boundaries okay this you can take a small task and you can do it and please let me know in the comment section whether you can able to calculate that or not yes so the same calculation we have also seen in our AHB protocol also right so the burst calculations you can follow the same in which you have learned in AHB protocol also right yes so that's all about this particular video if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about VLSI thank you for watching this video